able to to go out and hunt with my son, chase chase these big bulls while they're rutting and everything. Man, it's been well worth the wait. Hunting is not about the trophy. It's about the challenges that we face as hunters, and it is our choice how we pursue our prey. Hunting doesn't end when you spot your game. That's when the challenge begins. Closing the distance, becoming part of your surroundings, playing the wind, being patient, and waiting for that moment of truth. From the maximum highs to the ultimate lows, there is no way of predicting how things will turn out. For us, it's about the adventure. The journey. The moments that we share as a family. This, this is, is why, why we hunt. hunt. This, this is, is our choice. Welcome to this week's The Choice, the 13th week, the last of the season, huh? Yeah, this is the end of it. And this week, we're gonna head to New Mexico with top-notch outfitters and do some elk hunting. What do you think, Boom? Should we go elk hunting? I think and we're so. going with a bunch of the guys because we're the ones that aren't getting lucky drawn we every year. We never get drawn and we don't get lucky for that. But the lucky logo this week, oh. do you like that segue? That was good, wasn't it? Oh, it's 10 point crossbows. The ultimate in crossbows. If you're looking for a great one, 10 points got it. So watch for the 10 point logo at the end of the show. I'll tell you what to do with that. In the meantime, let's head to New Mexico, shall we? Let's hear Chet, some beautiful Brady, beautiful. Brady, Brian, your son, everyone, let's go check out what's going on. And boom, we'll be I think, think, Spark, you'd be a good elk hunter. Boomer, not so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We are headed to New Mexico. Brady and myself got drawn for tags. Heading out to see top notch outfitter Brian Newell. And uh, he's already seen some great bulls. We're super excited about this elk hunt. Something we both always wanted to do. We've got about a 16 hour drive. We got up real early this morning and hit the road. So we got a few hours under our belt. We're gonna buckle down and hurry up and get there and hunt first thing in the morning. So we're very excited to say the least. So we're rolling through Texas and Lonnie called us and told us we needed to eat at the Big Texan. So we just got into Amarillo and found the restaurant. So we're gonna eat us a little lunch, take a few minute break and then uh, get back on the road. We should be in New Mexico by probably six this afternoon and get some rest and be hunting in the morning. So let's go eat some dinner. Well, we've made it to Amarillo. We only have a couple more hours to drive, but before we continue, I'm hungry. Lonnie told us we gotta go to Big Texas to get us a big steak, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna eat the big one. How you doing, Brian? Good, how are I'm you? Chet. It's Brady. Hi, Brady. Nice how are you? Good. Let's go and oh, God, he's right there. Isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's a nice bull. He's, a good, he's the one I sent you a picture of. That's all good. Oh, he's a stud, Brady. I know he'll go over 320, but I'll bet he might be. Might be quite a bit better than that. That's a good bull. He's way wide and got good long points, but he's basically a giant five by five. That is a good bull. We're gonna go after him in the morning. I'm Brian Newell with Top Notch Outfitters. We offer quality elk hunts in South Central New Mexico for archery, muzzleloader, and rifle. The areas that we hunt have quality bulls in them. A lot of the elk that we're hunting for are 300 class bulls or better. We often take better bulls than that, but uh, that's, that's kind of an average that we take. All the amenities we have on our hunts are cabin type facilities with uh, hot showers, often have TV, warm comfortable beds to, you know, after, after a long hard day of hunting, and keep you warm and dry, you know, and great meals, home cooked meals. Here at Top Notch, everything we do is fully outfitted, guides, transportation in the field, we take care of getting the animals out of the field for you, you know, packing them out. We're getting ready to go out. We're gonna go up to the top of the unit up over here and hunt along this Indian reservation. <laughs> Brian says there's a lot of bulls up there and a little pressure. Going out of the realm, find some local bulls, we're gonna kill a big bull this morning. It's just gonna happen. On our elk hunts, what I like to do is, is hunt for 300 class bulls or better. That's not always what we kill, but that's, that's kind of an average of what we take and that's what I'd like, to, like for our clients to take. We've been hearing some bugling going on. Started right up here. Ridge here. And 
there's another one across the valley, so we're gonna drop down in this bottom and try and catch them down there. There's some water down there. There's a water hole down there, so I think they're headed to that water, so we'll see if we can't get down there and catch them. Sounds great, let's get them. Well, I shot my first elk last night. After reviewing the footage, we realized the shot was a little far back and lower than we wanted. But it, we're fairly certain it was a liver shot. So uh, we went, decided to let him lay overnight. It's the best thing to do. And uh, we're gonna try and recover him. This is Annie. She's gonna help me try and find my elk this morning. Aren't you? Mm -hmm. Decided to come back this morning with Annie, Christian, Todd, expert guides here, so. Man, after a long, restless night, hopefully we can find that bull. We reviewed the footage over and over. We're pretty sure it went in there and, and it got at least liver. So I think we'll find it. Let's go look. Come on in. Let's go, baby. right there. There he is. She's got him. It's my first bull. Yes. Good job, Annie, baby. Good job, honey. Check that out. My first bull elk. Look at that, Chad. My first elk. Look at that. Brian, look at that, buddy. We did it. Chad, we did it. Come here, buddy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How awesome is that? Yeah. Oh, my first bull elk. He's not the biggest, but man, he's my first, and I'm proud. Good job, Braid. We did it, buddy. My first elk ever. Oh, Brian, top notch, man. It's the name of your place, and it is definitely what it is. Oh. Well, you've seen bulls. Shot's good. Arrow. Check that out. That angle he was standing on that ridge. Just slit it right up in there. Yeah, that's perfect. Can be deceiving on camera, can it? Yeah. <laughs> we did it, buddy. Nice job. I basically begged you to let me shoot anything, so <laughs> my first elk, I could not be any happier.
name is Christian Newell and I've been hunting since I was nine years old. I've been turkey hunting with my dad and bear hunting and it, it's all been a great experience. In New Mexico, you have to draw an elk tag. Christian's been applying for these youth hunts since he was nine and it's hard to get these tags, but when you get them, it's worth it. Opening morning, we went out and found this herd, but the bull that we were after wasn't in the herd. A couple of the other smaller bulls were in there. There's a bull that's bugled out over this ridge. So we caught one, caught one in the deep we're ready to go. All right, well this morning we came in here and found, found the herd that we've been watching. And of course the, the bull that we've been after the, or that we wanted to get wasn't in with them, so we watched all them and saw another good bull off on the other ridge, but uh, weren't able to get to him, so we're gonna work our way up and see what else we can find in here. That evening we went to a whole different area, climbed up on top of this big mountain. We didn't see a thing up in there that night. So when we were on top of this mountain, I glassed back over to where we'd where we'd been on this herd the first morning, and I could see some more elk over in there. So we decided to go back over there uh, the second morning. We got out there early in the dark and stopped, and I bugled from the side of the road just to see if something would answer. And we got three bugles, we got three bulls to answer us. And uh, we decided to go back and hunt this one that was about a half mile back down the road. All right, we just found some elk right over here on the side of the road. So we're just gonna, gonna head right over to the ridge right here, see if we can't get a shot off. decided where we needed to be and Kevin had this brilliant idea to go back behind them and come in over the top of the hill at them, which worked great. After we located them, we didn't have the wind in our favor so we went back up the ridge and we approached them from the backside and they, they had dropped off into this bottom. We got down real fast and this bull popped out. fast and we took a shot. got on them real fast and we took a shot. I hit him about 150 yards and he ran and he just took off at a dead sprint. turned around, he did a little wobble type thing and he was just standing there behind a tree and I shot him again and it spined him and he dropped. He's 
Christian made a great shot, and we went up and uh, recovered a great bull. Look at him. Holy crap. I didn't think he was that big. <laughs> what do you think of that, huh? Oh, man. He's a beautiful bull. So excited. Awesome. And it, it, it's just been awesome with my dad and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's a good hunt, huh? I was so happy. I, all the emotions kicked in. I, I just, I can't explain everything that happened. It was, it was awesome. Well, Christian has been applying for, for youth hunts for quite a few years, and uh, this is the first actual youth tag he's drawn. Man, it's been well worth the wait, being able to, to go out and hunt with my son, chase, chase these big bulls while they're rutting and everything. This is a great experience. You know, it's uh, as an outfitter, you get to you get to chase these bulls around, but it's it's always different when when you're out here with your son and having a good time. Good job. Thanks. I love you. Love you too. It's a special time for a dad and a and a son to to be able to hunt together and spend that time together. He's 14 now to draw on this elk tag. It's it's just a special time for us uh, to be to be in the woods and to be able to hunt elk together. All right, I'm gonna. They're beating this door to get in. I'm gonna get get them. I'll be right back. Wow. Man, that is cool. That looks good. I like it. Habitat. Nice job. Thanks. Check it out. I got real grass in there. Choya. Cactus. Juniper. Christian's name. Christian's name. If you're a dad, you know how special it is to spend time in the woods with your son. It's just an incredible feeling to be out there and for your son or your daughter to be able to fill their tag, even if they don't fill the tag, just being out there with them. It's a good time. You get to spend quality time together doing doing things that you don't normally do instead of sitting on the couch. It's just a whole different experience. Did you guys like that, huh? I know you I know you'd like elk meat, but you're not getting them. No. Listen, we can't thank top notch outfitters, Brian and everybody. I, I, I mean, again. Every year, these guys produce for us. And they do. And Brian, thanks for getting your son Christian oh out there and gosh. hunting and taking him on that elk hunt. And Kevin, thanks for taking that mount back to him because that was pretty special. Yeah, that was that, cool. That's what it's all that about. You know, really we, cool. we want to thank all the parents for taking the time to get their kids away from the TVs and the video games. Get them outside. Get them in sports. Get them out to understand the outdoor lifestyle because once you do, you know, if you get your kids hunting, you'll never have to hunt for your kids. And speaking of going out hunting, Send Point logo, lucky oh. logo. Ultimate and crossbows. Guess what? This week's lucky winner is gonna win a 10 point crossbow. So if you saw the lucky logo, which was 10 point, you need to log on to tracetv.com, click on lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's gonna win one and a bunch of a other A bunch stuff. of other goodies. So go ahead, watch. Make sure Listen, you saw we it. can't thank you enough for watching another season of The Choice. Because without you, without our Lord, none of this is possible. And we wanna thank you and our sponsors for believing in us all these years. And we can't wait to bring you new stuff next season. Thank you everyone and thank you for making your choice. The choice.